Good morning. God, that thing is cranking for a piece of bread. We have an air purifier that is like so extra. <laughs> Anytime that we cook and don't put on the hood fan, it like, I mean, it's good. It's like definitely purifying the air, but it's, can you guys hear it? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, good morning from me and my Avi toast. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys, I thought I would vlog today because we've got just like a bunch of random little errands to do, things to do, places to go, people to see. So if you can see over there, right there, right there, um, I did get that same clear storage drawer organizer that I was originally going to get at Target but put back. Um, so I really want to get the nursery closet organized because it is not. The exterior is done. You guys have seen the nursery reveal. I'm so glad you love it. But it's definitely time to work on that closet. So I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna need another one of those. Um, I'm hoping not. <laughs> I do have a lot of like big baskets that we can store things in. So we can do that as well. Don't mind my hair. I just threw it up in like a, I haven't done anything really yet today. So um, I need to stop at the ATM and get cash because tonight we are celebrating one of our friend's 40th birthdays and doing like hibachi um, like at someone's house in their backyard. So it's gonna be super fun. I have to get cash for that. And I'm also in charge of um, balloons. So I wanna go get like the big 4-0, some special balloons. I have other like tasks I wanna get started. I really wanna get started with um, the hospital bag, especially now that I am 33 weeks. So I really wanna get started on that, but I might save that for a whole separate vlog. I'm still kind of in the midst of like research on that. So yeah, let me know. Actually, that'll probably be coming up in a different vlog. So please comment and let me know what was like the essential in your hospital bag. I mean, I'm, from what I'm seeing, it's a lot of the same lists over and over and some are a little bit more like extra. They have more things for comfort, just extra items in general. And then some I see are more minimal and simple and they're like, you don't have to bring so much. The hospital will provide you with so much. So I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm gonna teeter somewhere in the middle between like packing extra and packing light, but I don't know. I've seen some people do a whole carry-on size suitcase and then some people just do kind of like a duffel bag. Um, I do know I wanna bring my own pillow. Like that is like the biggest thing I've seen, like especially for hubby, like you, they wanna bring their own pillow and stuff because it can get very uncomfy. So I don't know, <laughs> it's a little overwhelming. We'll figure it out, won't we? So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then get ready for the day. Also you guys, I am thrilled out of my mind that I'm giving birth right about before, what am I saying? Right about before, right at witch's brew season. <laughs> um, I got the, the set in the mail. The Witch's Brew is the best flavor of Alani. I obviously had not had any energy drinks throughout my pregnancy. I cannot wait to crack this open after baby. No? Thank you for checking. If you guys haven't had this flavor, I know it sounds weird. It's caramel apple, 
caramel, caramel, I, I go back and forth. But it is the best Alani flavor. And it just makes me think of fall. So I fantasize about these. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Like the best timing. Actually, I should put these in the fridge so they can crisp up and marinate for next month. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm not the only person who thinks this way. But like having plans tonight, I like... <laughs> don't know what to do with my face now. I also will say the last couple days were like in the low 70s and not as humid and it was so nice. It made me feel like that little sprinkle of fall coming back in the air. <laughs> and now today it's like 85 and super humid. And I don't wanna be uncomfy, I really don't. So I don't even think I'm gonna do like real makeup tonight. Um, I I just don't think I'm going to. I just don't think I have it in me to just be sweating it off. And I will say, third trimester, um, a little hot flashy. A little, little hot flashy, indeed. Um, it's new. <laughs> it's different. The only things I've really started to notice over the last, um, like, two weeks. And, of course, I had um, a checkup with my doctor yesterday, the day before. I don't know, I wasn't vlogging. But I asked her, I was like, she's asked me new symptoms. I'm like, I'm kind of having hot flashes. My back hurts, feel a little more irritable. And she's like, all very normal. <laughs> like sometimes it's mostly just after I like do the most cause I really can't help myself. <laughs> like I get uh, caught up in like housework or cleaning or um, just like doing little, little house projects. I don't know, moving around a lot. That's when like I get a little lower back pain. Um, sleeping, y'all, sleeping is getting simply annoying. Like, I don't look forward to going to bed. I really don't. Um, because I know I'm going to be up every couple hours going to the bathroom. Um, I'm getting real over the, like, rotisserie chicken all night. I'm going to the left, going to the right. I miss sleeping on my back, my belly. <laughs> um, and then getting hot. I don't know. I just, I don't mean to complain. I'm just sharing my my updates here um, of symptoms. But yeah, that's really about it. Like I'd say it's just a very small like fraction of the day where I'm not feeling my best. So that's good. I still have a lot of really good moments. I'm still able to like do a lot of my normal um, activities. So can't complain really, honestly. Um, but also since it is so hot, I've been wearing my hair in a messy bun the last few days, which is why it looks like this. And you know what, it's going back up today. I actually will say I noticed a few comments recently saying that my messy buns have been on point. So I did do a very like quick tutorial in a vlog, but it wasn't in the title. So I'll put it in the title of this one so nobody misses it. And I'm gonna do a high messy bun. The last time I think I did like a low parted middle one, middle parted one. So let me show you guys my current messy bun routine. Cause I do have like a different way I've been doing it. So first I'm just putting it up to my desired placement. I like mine, if I'm gonna do it high, I'd like to do it like pretty high up. Wrap around to your heart's desire. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. And then you just do that little, little, folded bun where the rest is all kind of sticking out, right? Then I take the hair that's out, split it in half. So we've got these two chunks and because I have layers now, I twist them just to give it a little more like stability. And then I just wrap them around the bun. Grab another hair tie and then I just grab it all together and wrap that one around. And that's how I do it. And then I might play with it. Sometimes it comes out perfect right away, but sometimes it does not. Like I'm gonna take these pieces right here and tuck them into the hair tie. And it's so fun. It's like this almost knotted looking messy bun. That's that. It's so simple, so easy. And then I'm gonna take some bobby pins cause <laughs> hello. And I just pin up those hairs in the back, all those baby hairs, and I'll probably give it a little, a little hairspray as well back there. So that is the messy bun tutorial. All right, now for my face, I am gonna keep it so simple. As we know, I get some redness on my face. This is my fave lately. Actually, I've loved it for the last few years, but I'm back on it. The Rescue Bomb, the Red Correct from Hero. If I don't wanna bother with my like tinted SPF, 
I only use this instead. It's one or the other, really. But you just slowly kind of work it on your face. I'm telling you, it covers all the redness. It's kind of miraculous. And it just feels like you're putting on a little more moisturizer. Like, it's really a miracle cream. The power of color correction is wild. And a little bit of excess I'll like do on my forehead. Oh, I just, oh. I didn't realize I had some on my other finger. But yeah, I love this stuff. If you have um, redness or rosacea or anything like that and you don't feel like doing full makeup, it like neutralizes the redness so well. Like so much better. I'll put a link to this. It is so freaking good. And I know I'm not the only one with red problems. Going in with my usual NYX Thicket Stick it brow gel. Bruno hears the garage door and he's like, what the hell is going on? Who's there? And then lastly, I have only been using the brown tubing mascara, the Tartlet one that we got. Like I literally still have the black one in the box. Like I really like the dark brown. It's so subtle. Like that is dark brown versus black. Um, and it's not like I've been doing any like real full glam looks so like the dark brown has been so good love this mascara so i'm just gonna throw that mascara on and a little chapstick or lip gloss and then we are good to go okay so wait i just put on my mascara and now i'm like my face looks kind of flat <laughs> so i'm gonna do a little bit of the milk i can't help myself you guys the milk jelly tint and chill and i know it's funny like girl we just neutralized redness and you're putting more on but it's different <laughs> It's a different kind of redness. <laughs> Please tell me someone gets it. It is kind of funny, you know, I know. It's different, right? Oh, side note, I also wanna show you guys. I put the first ultrasound of baby that we got in here when he was so little. So, I don't know, I thought that was like super cute to show him one day, like look how small you were. Okay, time to start our errands. First, I have some light bulbs I need to return from Lowe's because we got the wrong kind. So, gonna run in and return these first. I have something in my eye. <laughs> it's messing with my contact. And I just keep like blinking profusely, looking a little unstable. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know you guys told me they have the um, number balloons at Dollar Tree, but I want to look at the other like 40th birthday stuff here as well. Chaotic. <laughs> oh no, it's in my bun. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Are you ready to be a big brother? That's a yes, isn't it? That's a yes, isn't it? You're gonna be the best big brother in the whole world. Yeah, you're ready for it. That is by far one of the things I am most excited to see is Bruno as a big brother. <laughs> That's gonna be the most magical moment when they meet. It might be horrible, actually. <laughs> I, I don't think it will be, though, just because Bruno has met other family babies and did a really good job. So I am hopeful, <laughs> hopeful that it goes well. But yeah, I ran my errands. I took a few clips. I also had to go to the bank and stuff. Um, but I'm back home. It's already one o'clock. I have been taking my mornings extremely slow just being tired lately um so i'm very grateful and fortunate that i can take mornings slow but it makes the day goes by really really fast so i want to start working on his closet a little more now and i also need to wash the mattress cover i want to wash all of the um pieces of the mattress that we got as well because like it can come apart and get washed and then I'm probably, <laughs> this is so real, this is too real. I'm probably gonna wanna like take a little rest <laughs> before we go, it's around like 6, 6.30, we have to leave. So, <laughs> I know that's silly, but I know the closet's gonna take some 
take some life out of me. So, all right, I refilled my water. <laughs> yes, you're excited. So uh, let's let's get started. I also just realized I have this weird stain. Oh, this is water here, but like some weird stain there. So want to get everything sorted away. I've had this in here just for the aesthetics. <laughs> But um, yeah, I want to get, I would just love to have everything washed and done. So I love, love, oh, this mattress is so cool. I've shared it before, but I've never showed you the inside. So look at the inside here, like this wired mesh and it is fully breathable if your baby turns face down somehow, because the older they get, they might start to roll and if they end up face down, they can breathe. Um, so that was a huge selling point for this mattress. And also a lot of the baby mattresses we saw were like around $100 and this one was 200. I know it's like a little bit more, double, but it just felt like so worth it for that like peace of mind. So <laughs> this is so funny. Can you guys like see that texture is so funky. It looks like something out of SpongeBob. All right. <laughs> and now I'm going to wash this and then I don't know if you saw in the last vlog I got this sheet cover for the mattress because they recommend doing a muslin one with it because it is super soft and also breathable but look at this cover if you didn't see the last vlog like I said I got so lucky I ordered I think it's called clay and the color of it oh, wow this is already so soft and it hasn't even been washed <gasps> oh it matches my accent pillow literally perfectly. And it matches the little stripies on our geese. Um, it matches the checkers on um, the bookshelf. It matches everything. Got very lucky with this. Oh, and I also got more drawer organizers for the dresser. Oh my gosh. The closet is starting to feel like a distant dream because <laughs> I'd rather do other things. I'm determined to at least get it started. Okay, I also got more drawer organizers, got them in the wash. I read the directions for the sheet cover, the crib mattress cover, <laughs> and you have to wash it by itself, zipped in cold water. So doing that one first. So I just got these drawer organizers on Amazon. They're like the ones that I already showed for the other drawers because I only have three drawers like really organized and then I have three other drawers that are just full of stuff so I love these drawer organizers I will link them they're so easy breezy I also realized I need to get a trash bin in here because we have the diaper genie but I'm finding that like a lot of moments I am like I need a trash bin because I just have like a lot of miscellaneous stuff to throw away so down here I just have um, a couple of nighttime Halo swaddles. I mean, this is so cute. Look at this from Kate and Lane. This was gifted a while back. So it's this like long nighty that you tie at the bottom. And it came with a matching little cap, <laughs> little night cap, little, oh my gosh. Like that is so, oh, that is gonna be so dang cute. And then I already washed this it is just a, big muslin blanket slash swaddle. And I need to plug this in. And I also have like a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna wash all of this. Um, but like pacifiers, I already put on. These are from Itsy Ritzy. And then I love this. This is also from Itsy Ritzy. It's a double-sided pacifier holder. And you can put the dirty one on one side and the clean on the other. So I love that. Got nipple crack and then also super recommended these diaper rash cream applicators and then they just I can't show you here but they just silicone suction cup onto the surface we've got teethers more pacifiers in this cute little case also from itsy ritzy so i want to organize those so let's just take everything out first and see i got um a different size packet this time so there's like a bigger section here and they literally just unfold like this and they're great for like traveling too and they just so that way they're super easy to like collapse so we've got those big ones we've got these little 
square ones another big one and then i like these ones as well these are like the perfect skinny length to go with the big one then you can kind of shove a few things in the sides here okay so i just put sleep swaddles and stuff in here pacifiers and stuff in here and then i have all this excess which i'm thinking i'll use when i clean out the closet and then we have one extra here which i could potentially use to organize in here all right i brought in a chair <laughs> A comfortable ergonomic chair so as you have seen it's just full of stuff um yar is going to set up camera we've got extra extra geese gotta keep gotta keep the extra geese you never know live laugh love the geese silly goose energy it's a lot of random stuff like we've got like an extra shelf are we gonna use it i don't know but i want to like put in the organizer you know stuff like this for you know things we're not using yet but we'll be using like we've got the thermometer we've got the brush like we've got just like a lot of stuff and then got the ergo baby hopefully this is easy to put on fingers crossed <laughs> should try that on at some point make sure i'm prepared because I, I do love the idea of having him just strapped on my chest doing stuff yeah like there's just more pacifiers we just we've just got a lot oh little sockies i forgot about these these are so cute i've got like multiple wire like what like what is this <laughs> this closet has like low-key just become like a catch-all drawer over the last two years living here this will be fun the teething bibs yeah we just <laughs> we've got to get organized people I am thrilled to report that the closet is done. Oh my gosh, that was a labor of love, but I feel so relieved that it's all set. So um, I kept, I've had these baskets for a while now, a couple years, I think. They're from at home. Um, and then I have a small one there. So over there I have the artwork I didn't use and the extra little geese for that. Then back there is just a little um, water mat that my sister-in-law gave me. In here I have mine and Yar's carriers, hand and footprint kit, and then the hat Lily got me that says in my mom era. This one's actually empty over here, so that's awesome. Maybe we'll put extra toys in there, whatever. And then over here I did end up using this. Kept these on top to remember that we're gonna use them. In here I have like just a bunch of excess stuff I don't need yet, like I said. Um, and extra bottles in case the ones we got don't work. These came in like baby kits and stuff, like freebies. And then in here, extra wipes. And then in here, just random extras. And then I kept the diapers um, up top here. These are all ones. The newborns are in the drawers. We have a set of two and three um, from baby shower, breast pump, nursing, pillow docatot which will not be for sleep only supervised awake time and then down there is um a play mat for tummy time back time all that but i'm gonna set that up when he's a little older so ta-da oh my gosh oh so relieved feels amazing many hours later all right guys many hours later i just took a nap <laughs> um no regrets on the nap um because i'm feeling much 
much rejuvenated. That's not it, but I'm gonna have to redo my bun. We gotta leave in about 10 minutes. I'm not gonna be doing more makeup. <laughs> I thought I might consider it, but really no need. It's still like really, really humid and I don't want to sweat. Also like none of my pants fit besides like yoga pants and stuff like that. So I throw on this dress that I wore on our baby moon. I think it's from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. And I might swap out my necklace for a different one. I've never had hibachi like at someone's house. It's like such a cool, fun concept. So I'll see if I can get some clips and show you guys. All right, I'll swip through. All right, pretty good bun. Pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna leave these like little messy pieces down. Pin up these back pieces again. Also, I was watching back the footage. <laughs> and I, I got like blonde bobby pins because I thought it like matched my hair. I forgot the underneath of my hair is brown. <laughs> So it's just like the most obvious color bobby pin against my brown hair in the back. Maybe I'll do more redness corrector because I am a little bit red here again. I think I like sweat all of it off earlier. And then like a little more mascara. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>